Right, so this is the 5th of January, and um, this is now part two, I guess. So, um, so what I figured, I'm, I'm waiting for parts for the starter motor to uh, to be repaired. But what concerned me was, I think I mentioned in the last video, was that I was turning over the engine, um, and it felt like something got stuck. And um, so I've taken the fuel tank and fairings off, and uh, this is this is the bit that's concerning me. So I've got the I've got the caps off here. So normally the engine turns. Sort of this way I believe but if you listen here now the bikes in neutral okay so I know it's definitely not the rear wheel or the gearbox getting stuck because that's I can turn the gearbox quite freely so I know it's not it's not that um, so it leads me to believe there's something uh, a bit more wrong with this engine than uh, I first thought. So I can turn it over this side, this way. But if I turn it, try and turn it over this way, have a listen. It's like there's definitely contact there. So basically, what's happening is, is I can turn the engine the other way, but if you listen, something is definitely getting stuck and it can't turn the other way. Now, if I rattle it around, um, I think you can hear that looseness, like there's metal to metal contact going on inside. So I reckon, in all honesty, it feels like the con rod has, has come off the piston. And that's what it feels like, because, yeah, look at that, it's completely locked and I can't turn it. So it's a good thing I'm not trying to start it yet. So I'll keep disassembling, I have to take off the head. I'll let it turn now. Ah, but it's got stuck again. So. Yeah, um, that's going to have to be investigated. Um, it could be, yeah, could be there's some damage inside there. So, yeah, stay posted. So what I've done now is I've got the uh, all the little extra bits off um, in preparation to remove the uh, the head. So the exhaust is off. And one thing I noticed about the exhaust is um, Honda have a habit of using a a double like a double sheath pipe, like a double pipe, and one of the the inner pipe is on the exhaust down pipe is um, has come off. Um, but the good thing is I was able to get the exhaust off, which is good. So that's the valve cover off. Um, the throttle body is off with the um, fuel injector and all that. Fuel tanks off and disconnected. So the head is now ready to uh, to be removed, and um, so that'll be. Um, probably covered in the next video so um, but definitely I'll, when I look at if I look at the um, inside the spark plug hole and um, try and move the uh, turning engine over by hand you can see the piston moving up and down but it's still yeah it's, it's getting stuck and uh, so I'm kind of glad I'm not trying to start it at this stage because uh, something is definitely up um, and uh, it'd be good to find out what that is so I'm sure I'll find out what it is as I keep stripping it down. So, yes, more to come.